Thank you for learning more about the Star County District Library. Every day, we strive to make a positive difference in the lives of those in Star County through innovative programs and events, developing partnerships with other organizations, and finding new opportunities to help others succeed. The library's mission, inspiring ideas, enriching lives, and creating community, reflects how we hope to impact our neighbors and friends all over Star County. Star County District Library has been the recipient of several awards in recent years. In 2009, the library received the coveted National Medal from the Institute of Museum and Library Services in Washington, D.C. in recognition of our early literacy programs, our partnerships, and our annual employment assistance fair. Only five libraries in the nation receive this medal each year. We are also recognized by our peers in the industry as a five-star library as named by Library Journal and a top 10 American library through the Hapler Index. We are proud to be recognized for providing excellent service to our community. Star County District Library consists of 10 locations sprinkled throughout Star County. You can find programs for the whole family, books, movies, and music, and professional friendly staff to help you. Let's take a quick trip around the county for a visit to our locations. Dehoff Memorial Branch is located in Southeast Canton, across the street from the Hartford Middle School. This branch began as the home of Mr. Andrew Dehoff, which he then bequeathed to the library. The house became a library in 1938 and remained as such until 2001 when the current building was erected in its place. Today, Dehoff sees many community members using computers, participating in the coupon club, or simply enjoying a nice sunny afternoon with a book or newspaper in hand. Here is an example of one of our multi-use facility partnerships in which we extend your tax dollars by partnering with other organizations in order to provide more to the community. The East Canton branch is located in East Canton in the Fultz Community Center. By being part of this multi-use facility, we are able to provide more parking, more meeting room space, and a more attractive facility that provides you with multiple reasons to stop by the library and check things out. Being a community center is an important role for the library and our partnership with the Fultz Community Center helps us provide that for the community of East Canton. Jackson Township Branch is one of our busiest locations, located across the road from the Jackson High School and thus can be found right in the heart of Jackson Township. This energetic community takes advantage of the many children's activities and crafts provided at the branch, as well as the several meeting room spaces available, which get plenty of use all year round. Lake Community Branch has been part of the Hartville Uniontown community since 1960. As of 2003, this location has been part of the Lake Community Center along with Lake High School and Middle School, the Lake YMCA, and an urgent care facility. The Greater Hartville community has been a strong supporter of the Stark County District Library throughout the years, and we are pleased to have a presence in the hub of this vibrant, close-knit community. The Majutz branch has the distinction of being the first established branch of Stark County District Library, and the doors opened to this original facility back in 1929. Currently, you can find this location filled with community members and there is an especially high demand for computers. Many talented artists and performers have provided artistic opportunities to the children of this neighborhood, and with a head start located ne just next door, a natural partnership has been established to provide critical early literacy skills to young children before they reach kindergarten. The main library is located in downtown Canton, next to the Canton Palace Theater. The largest collection of materials are located here, as well as plenty of public computers with online access. Most recently, the main library has become home to a fantastic technology training center available to the public to use, known as the Innovation Center. This extremely flexible space offers multiple means of technology options to provide off-site training to anyone. This room is entirely possible thanks to grants from Praxair Incorporated and the Stark County District Library Foundation. North Branch also known as the 25th Street Branch, is located near Malone University on the northern edge of the historic Ridgewood community. This location is tremendously busy and well-loved in the neighborhood. And check out their unique collection of art prints, framed and available for you to take home today. The Perry Sippo Branch is housed in the Exploration Gateway at Sippo Lake Park as part of a unique shared building collaborative in which both Stark County District Library and the Stark County Park District, also known as Stark Parks, share the space. This partnership is the first of its kind between a library and a park district, and both organizations benefit from the partnership. Both the library and the park system have received numerous awards and accolades for this collaboration, and it is a natural fit for our organizations. As a result, the Perry Sippo Branch is a gem in our library system with a beautiful view and a wonderful facility. 
The Plain Community Branch is located on the Glen Oak High School campus in Plain Township. This location is our largest branch and includes 36 public computers. Not only is this location part of yet another of our multi-use facility partnerships, but it has the distinct role of providing both service to the public as well as to the students of Glen Oak High School. The Plain Community Branch opens earlier than any of our other locations, 7.30 a.m. daily during the school year. And throughout all the hours open, this location is also open to serve the public. Stop by and take a look. This location is spacious and full of resources and the staff are happy to help. The Sandy Valley Branch is located in the southern end of the county near Magnolia and East Sparta. The small but mighty Sandy Valley Branch provides programs and services to many people in this rural area and we hope to provide more space and resources to this community at some point in the future with another winning collaboration alongside the Stark County Park District. As you can see, the library works hard to make your tax dollars go further by working with many organizations around the county and even the state to provide even more resources to our communities. Our most recently developed partnership is with the Pro Football Hall of Fame with whom we created the Get Into the Game Reading Program. If kids read more than 700 minutes this summer, they were eligible to win tickets to various Pro Football Hall of Fame and Triment Festival events, including the opportunity to represent the library in the community parade. The Hall of Fame also provides a Hall of Famer each year at the library to provide story time to the children at the main library. For the 2012 festival, Randall McDaniel very graciously shared his time and talent with the library. Are you wondering if people even use the library anymore? Can't we just find information online or buy the books we want instead? We think these statistics demonstrate instead that the library remains a vital, integral resource to Stark County. Let's take a look. Through the collaborative project known as the Ohio eBook Project, our customers have access to many free eBooks and e-audiobooks and all you need is your library card. This service is becoming more and more popular all the time. Most recent statistics indicate that already this year, customers at Stark County District Library borrowed over 60,000 eBooks. We are so very proud of the results we see from the use of our programs and services, but that's not all. Did you know about these services that the library provides? For example, we often tell parents of young children that they are the child's first teacher, and we make every effort to help parents fulfill that role by teaching them fun ways to help their children be ready for kindergarten. So many children in our community arrive to school that first day already behind because they don't understand what a book is or what the letters mean. The public library takes a leadership role in helping our children learn those early literacy skills needed to find success in school. Teachers and homeschoolers all throughout the county have access to assistance in pulling together materials for the classroom through our teacher collection service. Educators may call or email our librarians in search of specific themes or topics for their needed age range. Many teachers are losing more and more direct access to library professionals, and some schools have eliminated school libraries altogether. So this service and our relationship with schools and teachers become more important all the time. The mobile services staff head out each morning to daycares, preschools, elementary and middle schools, nursing homes, retirement centers, and shut-ins, and then visit neighborhood community stops each evening. This group provides programs and materials all over the county and bring the library to you and your family every day. Looking for a place to meet? All of our locations have free meeting room space available for clubs and groups. Plus, many locations have smaller study rooms available for individual or small group use. Get started on your family history or learn more about local history in our genealogy department located at the main library. The tremendous number of resources will amaze you, as will the knowledgeable and helpful staff who are always available to assist you. With a focus on providing teen moms the skills to read to and interact with their children and become their child's first teacher, 
The Young Moms Club offers young women who are parents a group in which to find others like themselves, to find help and resources for their children, and to provide an alternative perspective through empowerment, knowledge, and encouragement. Now, let's take a moment to consider how the library is funded. This chart demonstrates where the money comes from to keep the library operational. As you can see, the two main sources of income are the Public Library Fund and our current local property tax levy. But what is the Public Library Fund? The Public Library Fund is a fund provided through the state to all public libraries in Ohio. It exists as a line item in the governor's budget, and as you can see in this chart, the income from this fund has lessened dramatically as of 2008. State funding for public libraries in Ohio has existed for many years and is the main reason library service throughout Ohio has been consistent and reliable to all communities. Unfortunately, this fund, which once was able to be relied upon as the sole source of income for most public libraries in Ohio, has dwindled and is in danger of disappearing altogether. As a result, more than 75% of public libraries in Ohio now have local levies in place. It's important to us to reassure you that we are good stewards of public dollars. As our funding was cut back in 2008, we immediately began revising our budgets and expectations, and while we have always made a priority of living within our means budgetarily speaking, we redoubled our efforts to diminish our costs and spread the remaining funds available as far as they would go with the least amount of impact on the public. Here are some of the ways we have cut back spending. We've reduced open hours. We've eliminated services such as the drive up window service at many of our locations. We closed a branch and narrowly managed to avoid closing a second branch. We laid off 17 employees and eliminated many other positions in the library through retirements and vacancies. We bought fewer new materials. Employees also took unpaid leave and saw no increases in pay for nearly four years. There were cuts to programs and events. Spending was reduced in all areas, and the buildings have had minimal maintenance aside from safety issues. Perhaps you are wondering what will happen should the levy that Stark County District Library has placed on the ballot this fall not pass. The library's current levy is due to expire in December of 2013, but in preparation for what could be at the very least a 40% reduction in funds beginning in January of 2014, plus any additional reductions that may take place from the Public Library Fund, we fully expect to begin preparing for the loss of funding as early as January of 2013. Should the issue fail going forward, customers can expect to see a significant erosion of services at the library, such as additional locations closed, deep cuts to programming and events, further reduction in hours open, services eliminated, and the security force may need to be reduced significantly or eliminated altogether. Spending on new materials will be greatly reduced. Staff layoffs will take place once again. Buildings will continue to need attention and maintenance. As you can see, Stark County District Library will look very different if we do not receive your support this fall. We believe that our community sees the value of a strong and functioning library system as part of what makes Stark County a wonderful place to live and raise a family. Here's what you can expect to see when the library's levy passes. We want to continue to provide access to computers and computer training as well as access to information even when you're at home and the library is closed. Take a look at our website to see what we provide you from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a library card. Stark County District Library asks for your support for a 1.7 mil levy this fall. One mil is a renewal and 0.7 is an additional. The total average cost per homeowner is 14 cents per day. Here's a final thought to leave you with today. Thanks to a return on investment study that was performed, it was revealed that the Stark County District Library gives back to our community $5 for every dollar received. We hope that you see Stark County District Library is an investment worth continuing. <music>